how are you? So, my name is Ariane. Well, I'm basically an English teacher, but today I'm here to teach you guys some Portuguese. Yeah, you heard it right. I'm here to teach you guys some Portuguese. I have lots of friends who live in the US, so I wanted to record a video to help my American friends to learn some Portuguese, right? My idea is to teach you guys how to speak like 10 sentences that makes you feel a little bit more part of here while you were here, okay? Or when you were talking to a Brazilian. We love having uh, foreigners here. We are very happy when we have the opportunity either to practice our English with uh, a foreigner or we're really welcoming and uh, I mean it, right? So if you ever thought about coming to Brazil, please do it because it's such a beautiful country. Our culture is really nice and uh, I'm a little bit biased because I'm Brazilian, but I mean, I really like it here and I'm pretty sure everybody's going to have a great experience with people here, okay? So let's go for our class. The first sentence that I want to teach you guys is how to say, hi, how are you, right? Which is basically how we start any conversation, probably in every language that we think about. So when you say like, hi, how are you? In Portuguese, we're going to say like, oi, tudo bem, right? So let's try it again. Oi, tudo bem. Did you repeat it? Did you get to repeat it? Let's try it one more time. Oi, tudo bem? Okay, so it means again, hi, how are you, right? It's kind of confusing, but because I usually do the other way around, I like people speak English through Portuguese, so I'm doing the reverse today. All right, and the second sentence that I want to teach is, my name is, right? So when we say that in Portuguese, we're going to say, meu nome é, right? Let me repeat that, meu nome é. And then, of course, you say your name. So in my case, for example, I would say meu nome é Ariane, right? And that would be my name is Ariane, right? Are you guys uh, being able to repeat? I hope so, okay? So let's review the first one. Oi, tudo bem? Which means like, hi, how are you? The second one is meu nome é, which means like, uh, my name is, all right? So far, so good. So let's keep moving. So, I can also ask the person what the person's name is, right? Because I want to start a conversation. So, I can ask, like, what's your name? And in Portuguese, we would say, Como se chama? I'm giving you guys the reduction of what the sentence, the, the right sentence in Portuguese should be, Como você se chama? But nobody speaks like that, right? So, when you're just asking people about their names, you say, Como se chama? Can you, can you repeat that? Como se chama? One more time. Como se chama? Got it? Very nice. Reviewing. The first one is like, Hi, how are you? Oi, tudo bem? The second one, Meu nome é, which is, My, my name is, <laughs> I'm bugged. <laughs> I don't know which one should go first. Okay. And the third one, it's like, uh, What's your name? Which in Portuguese is Como se chama? Alright? So let's go to the next one. I know that you guys use the sentence like nice to meet you much more often than we do here in Brazil, but depends on the context that you are dealing with. Let's say that you are meeting a business fellow, I don't know, somebody like that. So it's nice to say uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, just the, way, the same way that you guys do it in the United States. However, when we're meeting friends, it's not very common after the person introduce, introduces us that we say nice to meet you. In Portuguese, we usually don't use that that much. But again, if it's more like a formal context, we use it a little bit more, okay? And then uh, we should say, like in Portuguese, for nice to meet you, it's going to be prazer. Okay. One more time, prazer. Which means like it's a pleasure. I mean, like it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, I'm giving you. I'm trying to give you guys the way that we speak, not the way that books teach us, right? Necessarily. So I'm just going to use sentences that we usually use, and I'm sure when you use those sentences with the Brazilians, they're going to feel like, oh, that's so cute. You know, they're struggling. So <laughs> we're definitely having a good reaction when you guys try to speak some Portuguese. All right. Well. Another good word would be like thank you for anything that the person might do. So thank you in Portuguese is 
Obrigado. Ok? However, here we have two things that you guys should know. Well, when you are a woman, you say obrigada. And when you are a man, you say obrigado. Ok? So we have two different words, two different letters at the end. So if you are a girl, you finish with A. If you are a man, you finish with O. If this video uh, has lots of views, or some views at least, uh, my plan is to try to start teaching you guys more aspects of my language, which I love as well. It was much harder for me to teach Portuguese than English, believe me, you know? Because teaching English is like a natural course. Since I learned that as a second language as well. In Portuguese, since I didn't learn it as a second language, I mean, sometimes we just don't think about why things are the way they are, okay? Anyway, let's get back here. So, uh, if you were a girl, obrigada. If you were a man, obrigado. So, let's repeat one more time. If you were a girl, obrigada. If you were a man, obrigado, okay? Reviewing. Oi, tudo bem? Hi, how are you? Meu nome é... My name is... Uh, como se chama? What's your name? Uh, Prazer, nice to meet you. And then you have obrigado or obrigada for thank you. All right, so far so good. So let's keep going. Uh, and then if a person says thank you, of course you should say you're welcome or something like that, right? So this you're welcome or whatever you respond when somebody says uh, thank you in Portuguese, which is obrigado or obrigada, you're going to say de nada. Right? And here it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you're going to say de nada in any case, right? Let's repeat it one more time. De nada. Okay? Well, in Brazil, just like the United States, we have different accents. So I'm from Sao Paulo and uh, this is basically the accent that we use here, but you might have different pronunciations if you talk to people from the north or if you talk to people from the south, right? It's such a big country just like the US, right? Okay, so let's go to the next one. When you go home or you're not seeing the person for a while, you're going to say like goodbye or bye, right? And uh, this bye in Portuguese is gonna be ciao, just like Italian. Italians say that as well, but they say that for hi and bye, right? Here in Brazil, we just say that for bye, okay? So bye in Portuguese, ciao. Got it? Ciao. Could you repeat that? Let me see, ciao. You got it. Very nice. Very nice. You're doing a great job. <laughs> okay, so uh, another thing that we can say when we are leaving or when you're going somewhere that we might not see that person, it's a very cute sentence. It's not an essential sentence, but it's a cute sentence. And I know that if you guys use that, you're going to melt our hearts, okay? And then you can say, it was really nice to meet you. Like, I love meeting you. Or it was such a pleasure to meet you. It's like a nice to meet you, but it's much warmer. It's much more like, uh, oh, it was so cool to see you. It was so nice to meet you. You know, you show that, you show your, appreciate, your appreciation for meeting that person, okay? And uh, we can say like, adorei te conhecer. So let's repeat it again. Adorei te conhecer. Which means it was really nice to meet you. It was such a nice thing that I met you, okay? And in this one, we don't say it as soon as we meet the person, but just when we are leaving, you know, before saying goodbye or after we say goodbye, right? Uh, prazer, you can say like the one that I taught you before, remember? Good memory. <laughs> okay, so the one that I taught you before, you say that immediately after you meet the person. If it's a business situation or something like that, or something more formal. You can use that when it's not that formal, but people are going to sound like, oh, okay, you know? It's not wrong, but we just don't do that very often, right? Um, so, it was a good sentence when you were saying goodbye, it was like, adorei te conhecer, okay? Adorei te conhecer. Very nice. And the last one that I want to teach you guys today, it's like, because when, once you say something in Portuguese, people are going to assume that you speak Portuguese and they're going to start speaking Portuguese with you. So, it would be very nice for us to know that you guys are just trying but not that you speak Portuguese, right? So, of course, we have to learn a sentence to say, I'm sorry, but I don't speak Portuguese, right? 
So, when you say that in Portuguese, you're going to say, Desculpa, mas eu não falo português. Okay, let's try it one more time. Desculpa, mas eu não falo português. Alright? So, here are some sentences, you can use them to have fun, you can use to talk to any Brazilian friends that you might find uh, in your life. <laughs> and uh, again, uh, it's going to warm our hearts if you just like try to speak a word to in Portuguese. We know how hard it is to learn a language a bit different from you guys. You guys don't have to learn English as a second language because you already have it. But if we want to communicate with the world, this is the language that we should learn. So we are used to that and lots of people struggle to learn a second language. So we really appreciate any effort that people are having, you know, to speak a little bit of Portuguese with us. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are safe and sound. Take good care of yourselves and I hope to see you guys again, okay? Bye-bye. See you. Take care.